enrolled at um, the UNM Gallup branch, intending to go into education, and after a couple of classes, I thought, I think I can do this nursing thing. I wanted to be in the medical field. I actually wanted to be a dentist. I actually did my first training at Bethel School of Nursing in Colorado Springs. It was a diploma program, which is a hospital-based program. And then 11 years later, when we moved down here, I went to UNM and I got my bachelor's through there. And then I returned to UNM about 10 years after that and finished my master's degree. I was older when I started nursing school. I was 45 years old before I even took a single college class. And I started prerequisites at 45 and at 48 I graduated with an RN. Our class sizes were small. Um, you would start with a class that's less than 30, and then depending on how people did, maybe end up with 20. And so for four semesters you're two together, and you really get to know people and care about each other. In my class of about, I think there were about 24 of us, and at least half of us were 45 years or older. And I made friendships that um, will be lifelong friendships. We were a very tight group, even the younger ones and the older ones. We got some energy from their, their youth, and I think they gained some um, steady habits and maturity from us. It's a rigorous program. Um, it's very difficult, and so it helps to know that you have support. I am the director for the emergency department and the intensive care unit. Nurses are very autonomous in an intensive care unit and they work with the physicians and they, they do the whole package of nursing, the holistic nursing, from their spiritual needs to their health needs to their education needs. The emergency room is faster. We're trying to just take care of what you came in for. If you came in for your fractured arm, that's what we're going to treat you for. I am a charge nurse in the emergency department and I'm also a house supervisor. In the emergency department, you can have more critical patients that you need to get stabilized and you'll see trauma, initial trauma that, that you won't see on the floor. I am the interim director of the medical, surgical, and pediatric floor here at RMCH. We spend a lot of time in front of computers making sure we document everything that happens, getting medications, making sure that um, we know our patients' vital signs before we give them certain medications, talking to doctors and lab people and pharmacists, talking to families, updating them on their, their family members. I like to be around people and I like to see that I make a difference in people's lives. And I think nurses do that every single day, whether it be just a little bit that you make them so that they don't have as much pain or that you help them to accept their disease process or like in labor and delivery, you help them to bring a new life into this world. Um, but the, the fact that I can help make a difference to everybody at any point during the day is what I like the best.